good morning to everyone now let's start the relation algebra operations continuation part in the last video so where we are discussed about different kinds of set theory operations with example we came to know about union we came about intersection and also we came to know about that how we can able to work with the set difference and by taking help of Cartesian product, so where we can able to make joining of uh, two uh, two different relation attributes values in single relations. Today in this part, uh, we are going to be discussing one of the important the topic that is join operation in DBMS. An important operation for any relation database is a join operation because it enables us to combine related tuples from two relation into single tuple. When we're going to be work on the relational database, which is going to be containing many number of tables. Like suppose if we take the example of college, college itself is the one of the main table. So within that we can able to create sub relations like Sub relations like administration, examination point of view, examination department, so non teaching department, teaching department, so like uh, and a student, uh, student table, uh, student relations, like we can able to create many different kinds of relations. But when we're going to be creating this many number of tables, sometimes what we are going to be using the tuple values. Those tuple values may be interlinked with another table of the main relation. Whenever if you want to be combine that kind of attribute values from the two different relation, so then you can you can apply the join operations. Very simple example: we have a department table and also we have a administration table. In the administrable table, the student information will be available, and in the department table also students' information will be available. So I want to be keep it some important triple values or attribute values from the administration and as well as the department. What we have the in attributes in administration, all the attribute may not be equal to the attributes what we have in the department, but some triple, some attribute values may be equivalent to what we have in the department from the administration. So whenever if you have such a equal values, or equal attributes and um, uh, which is relevant to the student information then we can able to apply the joining operations so this is a special symbol what we have which is going to be joining the two different uh, relation by applying the join conditions here when the join condition is satisfied then uh, tuples from the r1 and tuples from the r2 will be the difference uh, the main difference the between the Cartesian product and also in the join is that in the Cartesian product so where we are going to be selecting all the uh, tuple values in combinational fashion like suppose in the R1 is one relation uh, so we have attribute A1 A2 and uh, R2 is a one more relation we have a C1 and C2 so in Cartesian product the combination fashion is mean that A a1 c1 a1 c2 again b1 c1 b1 c2 so like that it's going to be arranging in combination way but in the, what happens in joining operation so in the join it's going to be retrieve the tuple values from the two different relation based upon the join condition it mean that what we're going to using the values uh, attribute value in one relation attribute value in the another relation should match by taking help of the join condition the join operation is equivalent to the Cartesian product when what we are going to be using the join condition if it is the match the selection condition as it is what we've taken from the select uh, from the join operation so then it's going to becoming a equivalent so your Cartesian product uh, operation selection condition must be satisfied and also so what we are going to be using the uh, select operation for the join condition 
both should be match whenever if it is match then the result also becoming a so here we have best example to understand how we can able to apply the join operation so in the main employee table all the employees information will be available who are working in the company out of that employee table so many department will be divided like departments like um, research administration uh, sales department mark like marketing department so like uh, many different kinds of departments will be there for every department so there will be a manager before he going to becoming a manager first he must be a employee in the company whenever he joined the company so he will be get the social security number that is completely identical from everyone then suppose if i want to see that all the managers who are working in the different departments then i can able to perform joining operation so manager assn and social assn must be match even though if he a manager is is a social security number will be remain same but to make it difference who is the employee who is the manager so we are going to using a attribute names are different here this is a manager assn and this one is a social security number so who are going to be match research administration and also we have a headquarters are there and also we have a, a very common uh, joining operation equi join operation it's just like a common mathematical operation attribute value from the one relation attribute value from the one more relation the val two values must be match so that to, to match that in joining operation so where we are going to using a equal symbol in the resulting relation on an equi join operation we always have one or more pairs of attributes that have identical values in every triples so what happens why we require to use a natural join when you going to applying a equi join operation the attributes uh, same related attributes names will be dis uh, displayed one more time extra suppose if i am using ssn and uh, ssn is a relation 1 ssn is a relation 2 so here ssn attribute from the r1 also displaying in the result ssn attribute from the r2 also displaying in the result so here duplication will be get rises to overcome that duplications so where we can able to use a natural join operations in equi join operation if the two attributes in the join condition have the same name then in the resulting relation we will have two identical columns but which is going to be containing a same kind of values only in our in order to avoid this problem we define the natural join operations so natural join operation denoted by the symbol multiplication or into mark or you can tell that asterisk here the asterisk we are going to using and we will have a attribute list this attributes from the r1 attributes from the r2 should be get match the only common attribute names is going to becoming a result in the r3 it's going to be storing in the r3 in r3 only one of the duplicate attributes from the list are kept and there is no chance of you get a replications when you go to natural join so we have the project department project into department project is a one page table department also be one of table so which are the very common attributes will be there it will takes that column uh, common attributes and it will keep only single values and that value is going to be becoming a one more relation that is the name what we have a project department so like that we have a department locations in the project is a one relation department is a one relation common attributes from the project common attribute names from the project it takes the values from that column uh, that common attributes here also it takes the attrib attribute values from the common attributes and that's going to becoming a one more relation that's the name is a project department the next we have division operation the division operation is very special operations in joining operations 
in relation algebra also sorry in relation algebra what actually it will do and when the when in which situation so we need to be used the division here so here we given a best example to understand when we have to be divide division operation to be applied retrieve the name of the employees who work on all the projects that john smith works on so is mean that i want to retrieve the name of the employee who working in the all the project so what we can do all the projects divided by the name of the employee this is what generally when we going to be speaking and when we going to when whenever you want to be convey this kind of uh, question to, uh, or a query to anyone usually we will be tell like that so we can divide that one by all the projects the same thing here operation we are applying here r1 divided by the r2 here attribute here r2 is the subset of r1 only and what will get the result of this we'll going to be storing in the r3 uh, this is a simple example they given here dividing the uh, ssn ssn is a social security number and p numbers is a project numbers so which is going to be divided by the smith projects works on here so employee social social security number and here we have a project number the result of this r and s this smith projects on p number is 1 project number is 1 and project number is 2 uh, this is a very simple example to understand when you can able to apply the joining division operations in relation algebra.